Hey! Hey! I'm Mr. O, here with another Oh, wow! moment at the Children's Museum of Houston. So I see you all found our conductivity tester. Yeah, we figured out that the goal is to complete the circuit around the path. And that metal allows the electricity to flow through the path. But what I don't get is why metal works better. Well, let me explain it this way. Conductivity is a property of matter. In other words, some materials naturally allow electricity to flow through them, mostly metals. If you look down the center of this tube, it's hollow inside, so the beads can easily pour through it. In other words, the property of the tube allows the beads to flow, like the property of metals allows electricity to flow. Some materials, like wood and plastic, are like this other tube. If you look down it, you can see it is blocked, so the beads don't flow through. When electricity cannot flow through a material, it is said to have non-conductive properties. Electricity is unable to flow through non-conductive materials, like wood and plastic, just like the property of the second tube prevents beads from flowing through it. Let me show it to you a different way. Science is fun, but can also be dangerous, so always have a responsible adult helping you. Also, all the electrical projects we make on these shows use batteries, which use far less electrical power than what you're going to find in any wall socket. So never, ever, ever plug any of our electrical projects into a wall outlet. We're going to use conductivity to make a fun eye and coordination game. For this project, you'll need cardboard, 9-volt batteries, 9-volt battery clips, DC buzzers, electrical tape, craft sticks, scissors, wire strippers, insulated wire, and non-insulated wire. First, connect the black wire from the buzzer to the black wire on the battery clip. Use electrical tape to hold them together. Tape the battery and buzzer to the craft stick. Don't connect the clip yet, but make sure to leave space so you can connect it later. Cut off a piece of insulated wire about 8 inches long and strip about an inch off each end. Make a loop with one end and connect the other to the red wire on the buzzer using electrical tape to hold them together. Tape the wire to the craft stick, leaving the loop sticking out by a few inches. Bend the non-insulated wire into an interesting shape, but make sure that it doesn't touch itself anywhere. Thread the loop onto one end of the bent wire. Then, tape the wire to the cardboard to make a base. Cut off a piece of insulated wire about two feet long and strip about an inch off each end. Connect one end to the wire shape and the other end to the red wire in the battery pack, using tape to hold them all into place. If the metal from the loop touches the bare metal of the shape, the two metals will conduct electricity, causing the buzzer to sound. The goal is to move the loop around the metal shape without making the buzzer sound, or, in other words, to avoid conducting electricity. Oh my <laughs> A fun challenge is to trade your creation with someone else and see who can finish the fastest without sounding the buzzer. This has been another Oh Wow Moment from the Children's Museum of Houston. We hope your mind can come out to play. <laughs>